Hey y'all, I'm gonna be doing beach waves. You guys have asked for it, I'm gonna do it. Um, the way I do it is so simple. It's like easy breezy, anybody's gonna be able to do it. So first, I start out with um, Evo's Water Killer. I love this dry shampoo. Just spray it to give extra volume. Even if your hair's not dirty, I like doing it. Okay, so we do that. And then just go through and tease the areas. My hair is dirty and I did brush it out so I have a little bit of teasing from yesterday. But just go underneath and just a little on top. Um, the comb that I'm using is from Sally's. It is so cheap. Not even funny, I think it's like $2. Okay, tease the back. And if you notice, I do have the top section of my hair pinned off, so that way it's not getting in the way and we are doing the top part last. Okay, next thing I do, this is so important, is a heat protectant. Um, this is the Orbe Styling, or sorry, the Orbe Soft Lacquer. Um, it's amazing, I absolutely love it. Um, the reason being is because it protects my hair and it's able to grow long. A lot of you ask like, do I wear extensions? I don't wear extensions. I've never glued them in my hair. I will never do that. Um, it's just, I think it's kind of bad for your hair. So I won't be doing that. However, I will do clip-in extensions and the clip-in extensions I use are cashmere hair. I do it on a special occasion. So for a wedding, I will be doing it. Um, the hair quality is so good with their product. Um, it can be an investment. I know some people are like, oh, I only want to spend like 150. I promise for an extra, like I think it's maybe 50 to $75, you're gonna get hair extensions that last you twice as long, um, if not longer than that. I've had mine for three years and they haven't had to be replaced and I use them a good amount. So great, great brand of a product. Um, next thing, I'm just gonna take the hair lacquer and kind of just go throughout. And with this product, you do have to work relatively fast. So I'm gonna shut my pie hole and tell you about the GHD curling iron uh, while I'm grabbing a little piece. So I'm gonna take this piece and I'm just gonna curl inwards, leaving about two inches out, like a few seconds, and then drop it. Um, with the GHD curling iron, and this one we're gonna go the opposite direction. So each other piece, we're gonna go opposite forward, or sorry, forward, back, forward, back. So that way it gives more of like a tousled look. Um, so with this curling iron, anybody's hair that I've ever done with it or curled with it, they're like, oh my God, my hair stayed curled for like three days. Like, what did you do? I wish it was me. <laughs> um, it'd be amazing if it were me. Um, but it's not. It's honestly this amazing, amazing curling iron. It um, it promises uh, 24 hour curls, and that's a hundred percent what it does. It gives 24 hour curls. Um, it also does not damage your hair as bad as you know other curling irons do. I know that's oh, I hate saying that, but curling irons will cause damage to your hair if you're not doing the right heat protection and the right um, prep. And whenever I prep my hair before I blow dry it, I also do it with a heat protectant. Um, I use the Orbe Royal Blowout and that way I'm protecting my hair from the heat of the blow dryer and then now from the heat of the curling iron with a soft lacquer. Um, I also put Fave 4 twice as thick in my hair. I love their stuff. I've used it for God knows how many years now. Um, but I absolutely love their products. It's really good. Okay, and just hold it. And then sometimes, which I'll do that in a second and show you guys what I do now. So super easy, nothing crazy about it. Y'all are actually probably gonna be bored. Um, be like, Jessica, I know how to curl hair. <laughs> We're doing it again. All the heat protected on my hair. Again, with this stuff, you can do it piece by piece. And if I weren't doing it in a video, to be honest, I would be doing it piece by piece because it does dry really fast. So just FYI, when you're at your house, try 
are doing it heat protectant curling iron heat protectant curling iron um, and it's gonna be a little bit better for your hair that way okay so just wrapping lock and load um, and I just grab oh, and I just grab different pieces so in no particular order I don't like to do a particular order And just remember like you're curling toward and away every other piece that you have and whenever I curl away from my right side um, I do have to switch <laughs> I do have to switch arms because I cannot And I'm just letting it hold for a few seconds. Um, not 30 seconds. I still feel so bad for that poor, adorable girl that was like, you just hold it for about 30 seconds or so. <laughs> so sad. I don't know where her mom was at that day, but she should have maybe been at home making her dog, making sure her daughter did not get on YouTube, burn, burning her hair down. I'll say that, and then I'll have a little girl that's like, my mom holds her curling iron for about 30 seconds. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's my daughter. Um, anyway, so after you make sure every piece is curled, just go back through, make sure you haven't missed any. And we have a straight one right here. Oh, we actually, I missed a few pieces. I'm gonna have to do curls on a few more pieces. we are finished with the wrapping we're just gonna spray a little bit of the Faye 4 texture takeover okay we're not gonna pull out the curls yet we're just setting those now we're gonna take out the top part dry shampoo okay I'm gonna work that in shake it out and today my hair is naturally falling on the side so whatever um, wherever your hair naturally falls at that day let it just go there um, mine kind of changes my hair will fall in the middle and then I'll fall on the side so honestly I just I don't fight it I just let it do whatever it wants to do um, so now I'm just teasing the top area that we just took down this is a little I don't know why my hair is doing this deep of a side part today but oh well And I don't really tease the back of my hair because 
nothing against pageants, but it can be a little too pageanty on me. Um, so I don't like it. Okay, so with this, okay, we're gonna spray. And the pieces close to my face, like right here, um, I tore out and I move the curling iron up and down like this. Um, and then I just pull it so that way around my face it's a little softer. And usually the top parts of my hair, I do curl most of them um, going backwards. So flipping this way. I might do like a super, super small piece going forward. guys stuff heat protectant since the dance And same thing, on the side I'm gonna do most of the pieces going backwards. Except for maybe like this one I'll wrap forwards. This is such a deep side part. I don't know what my hair was thinking today. Of course it's the day that I'm doing a video, typical. But I know my hair, and if I try to bring some over to that side, whoo, we are not gonna be in good shape. So I'm just gonna work with it. Okay, and I'm just gonna do some of the back pieces because I always miss those. And you can look in a mirror, but can usually kind of feel them and say, oh, that piece is not curled. But yeah, you always want to double check your mirror because there's nothing worse than like all curls and then just like, like one little flat piece. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go through and straighten out some of these ends. That way we're making it a little bit more beachy. And no rhyme or reason, I'm just straightening whatever pieces I'm grabbing so that way not all of them are going to be um, straight. A majority might be some might not be, but that way, that gives it like more of like the authentic, like Cali or Australian beach girl hair. To be honest, I think Australians had beach hair and us state people just kind of copied it. I think they were the epitome of like beach cool. Um, and we're trying to claim it. Okay, anyway, history lesson. Um, <laughs> so, History lesson on where the beach curls actually happen. So shake up the fade four, spray, and then flip it. Okay, and then I just shake it out and then I'll go through with a comb and any pieces that are a little more tightly curled, I'll just kind of comb them out. Which these pieces are just a little too curled for me.
the last part, obviously, of this tutorial is just like kind of finding out, you know, which pieces you want curled. Like right here, I need like maybe just like one more like kind of tighter curl. Um, but yeah, basically the the goal for beach waves is for it to look kind of like done but undone. Um, and I'm just making sure everything is, is good to go. But yeah, here is my typical beach waves that I do. Oh, we gotta fix this. Um, again, I'm just gonna take this part and just need straightening just a little bit. Yeah, and if, by the way, you can also separate them, so. I'm just gonna show you guys really fast because it's bothering me. Okay, so whenever you separate to give more volume, you can just pull your part of hair, <laughs> pull, pull your part of hair, pull your hair apart, and it just separates and gives it like nice, big, beachy, undone waves. And that is all. I will be doing like, oh, that didn't look cute. Um, I will be doing a tutorial on different other hairstyles, but I wanted to start off with just like a very loose, anybody can do it, um, beachy wave. And that is all, you're all done. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed, bye. Mwah.